Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For like the a millionth time, I'm finally making a video again after I don't know how long. But um, I've been quite busy. I feel like I owe some kind of explanation as to why I haven't put up videos. Um, but let's, in case you forgot who I am, hi, my name is Jackie. I'm 29 years old now because my birthday just passed. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But, um, well, I'm not kidding that I'm 29, but, you know, the introducing my, reintroducing myself part. Um, I've just been so busy lately. I went on a vacation a few, like a month ago. So that was for two weeks and it felt like a month. Um, you know, when you're prepping for a vacation and then something else very important besides the vacation was that I am opening up a new business. So I'm pretty busy trying to get all that together to open. So that's why I've been gone. And yeah, I mean, I don't even know what schedule I'm going to have now for videos, but I don't want to stop making videos. I do have a vlog channel. If you guys don't follow me on my vlog channel, go check it out. Um, I've actually been lacking putting up videos there as well, but I feel like I upload to my vlog channel a lot more than this channel here. So go check that out. It's just what I do on a daily basis. You know, just mom things, girl things, wife things. So go check that channel out. But anyways, today I have a birthday haul. Um, I'm just going to call it, I think, a birthday haul, but I'm going to have like home decor stuff, clothes, as you guys can see behind me, shoes, a little bit of makeup, and that's it. Um, I do have actually one perfume. I'm going to call it a birthday haul because actually my birthday just passed August 8th. I turned 29. Um, can't believe I'm almost 30. I definitely don't feel like I'm 30. Well, I'm not 30 yet, but I don't feel like I'm going to be 30 next year. So, it's crazy. But anyways, I actually only got um, one present from somebody. Um, well, not really. I got a cake from my mom and balloons. But I did get a perfume my, from my mother-in-law. And my husband also got me a cake and didn't really get me anything else. So let's just say that I let that slide this year. You know, I think if you're a husband or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or, you know, vice versa, whatever, um, don't stop getting your loved ones gifts. Like, who doesn't like gifts? Like, I know it's not about the material things, blah, blah, blah. But, like, I like surprises. He could have surprised me with, like, going somewhere, like, to eat or something for all I care. But anyways, that's another video. That's, like, relationship issues <laughs> video. But, um, well, like, pet peeves. I'm not going to say, like, real issues. But anyways, let's just say that I bought myself <laughs> things. So... You know, this was, we do have a joint bank account, so let's just, we can pretend they're from Juan, but they're really not because I bought them myself. But you know, we have a joint bank account. So whatever you want to think, you can think. I'm not really going to try on on this video. I do have try on hauls in the past. Um, you know, it's just more work. And for the sake of me putting up a video, I just really kind of just wanted to show you without trying it on. But let's just start with this shirt. I am wearing it for the purpose of you guys at least can see it. If I have tried on the clothes, which I have actually, um, that's hanging behind me. I will include a picture uh, with the clothes on myself or I can show you a picture of what it looks like on you know or inspiration where I got the idea of purchasing it, where I saw it, who I saw wearing it, vice versa like that. Um, I will post a picture in the video. But anyways let's just get started with this t-shirt that I'm wearing. We're gonna start with Forever 21. This is a t-shirt that I got from Forever 21. I did order online and actually I just put it on for the video and I was going to take off the tags and I realized that it's kind of like I don't know if I should go a size smaller I think I got a 1x I'm pretty sure and I feel like oh I don't know like if I bend down you know I have to just wear this when I'm with my husband or like friends out I don't know in front of my kids or around my parents like I don't know and this is the point of like the detail so I can't wear a tank top under uh, but it's just cut out. It's like a plain white tee. It's actually shorter than what I would like it to be, but it doesn't look bad. I usually like to wear like longer t-shirts. This is a 1X and it's $17.90. I ordered it online. So the next piece from Forever 21 is this like light blush pink shirt and it's 
a one-sided shirt. This shirt looks so pretty on. I might have a picture of myself. I'll post it on right now if I do. But this I got it in a 1X too. And then it has like a little bit of like uh, rips here. You guys can see. Got it in a 1X and this one cost $17.90. I love this shirt. I think one of my favorite things I purchased at Forever 21 and I actually already wore it and got so many compliments um, is this t-shirt. Yes! It's a t-shirt of Selena. It says Como La Flor. And actually this shirt, I was scared that it was going to be a little reduced and I like my t-shirts to be comfortable, you know. Um, so I got it in a 2X and I actually, honestly, regret it. I wish I would have gotten it in a 1X because it's such a cute t-shirt and like I feel like a more fitted look, I would be able to wear it out more because I don't really like dressing too baggy to go out. So I mean, I already wore it the other day because like I came home really late and um, I was so tired. I, I didn't really want to dress up and we were going out for dinner just like to get wings. And I put this on and I got stopped so many times telling me, people telling me that they loved my shirt. And it was a little baggy, so I was like, mm. you know, I'm still trying to lose weight. So I was like, dang it, maybe I should get another one in a 1X or an extra large just when I do lose more weight, you know, so I can still like wear it out. But yeah, this is, I love this shirt. I don't know the price anymore because I took, I already wore it. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll talk about Ross. I've been wanting an Adidas uh, hat for a long time and hadn't found the one but let's just say when i tried this baby on at ross i was like oh this is it and actually you know i this was in like the boys department so maybe it was not really from that department i think it's like from the men's department but it happened to be right next to the boys um it's just a large extra large size because i have a big head but i love this hat don't know the price either because i already forgot now this is another t-shirt that I am in love with. I just got actually got this from Nordstrom the other day. Boom, boom, boom. So this is a Bone Thugs and Harmony t-shirt. I got this in a size large, and this is actually from the men's department, uh, like the young men's department. And I tried it on, and I love the way it fits me. I actually went back and I was like, is there any other t-shirts I want? Because the large just fit me so well. It's like so fitted. But it looks so nice. Love, I can't wait to wear this shirt. I like loved the Bone Thugs and Harmony. Okay, next door. Actually, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys this, but I think it's a really cute shirt. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. It's a little wrinkled, that's why I'm embarrassed. Not a little, it's a lot of wrinkled. But actually, this is from Torrid. I just want to show you guys because I'm obsessed with the trend with like the off shoulder or like the peekaboo shoulder trend and this is it. It's a button up just like a jean denim color and it has a cutoff right here from Torrid. Got this right before I left on my trip so I already wore this as well. I don't remember how much it was but I got this in a size zero. Okay, a few of these pieces I did get before my trip to Mexico so um... I've had them for a while and I already wore them because I wore them on vacation but um, I'm sh pretty sure they still have them on the site. This dress is from Fashion to Figure and I know that I have a picture of this on but it's just a beautiful long sleeve jersey dress and it has like a um, tight around the um, wrist so it doesn't like get too long on you. It's just so flowy, it's so like breezy, it's so stretchy. Um, and then it has like an opening here for like a nice slit and actually when I was gonna wear it I found out it was like ripped, but oh well it was too late. I wasn't gonna return it So I'm just gonna fix that but I love this dress and fashion to figure like so inexpensive Okay, now this is I'm gonna say everything's my favorite but I think this honestly one of my best purchases ever this is from Fashion Nova and this dress is called the Spree Dress. It's also long sleeve, same material as the blue flowered one, but it has shoulder pads. Long sleeve, has a really low cut here, cinches at the waist, and this dress actually has, I don't know if I can show you, it has two slits. I'll show you here. You see this? So the two slits right here. So it can actually go up really high, which I'm a little bit scared about, but I'm actually gonna have a um, C 
seamstress fix this for me so I'm not showing too much up here and so make sure nobody sees my chonies under here but this dress is also so stretchy it's super long so I do have to get it hemmed um, I got this size in I got this dress in a size extra large because I read the reviews and it actually um, they everybody was saying it was running big and this was $39.99 and I will post a picture of um, an Instagram girl that I follow and I saw her wearing it and it looked gorgeous and I was like I have to have it I think her Instagram is Miss Jasmina but you guys will see right now who she is but she looks bomb I know I'm not gonna look as good as her but you know what the dress is pretty damn nice and inexpensive okay the next piece that I got the next store is actually Macy's so this shirt I also will be posting a picture I did wear it already um, it is a long sleeve but sheer sleeves also cuffs at the bottom so it's not like hanging off your hands um, and it's also off the shoulder so all of this shows it's so cute and it has this detail where it's like two little strings like almost like a halter right here around your neck it looks so pretty it's so colorful so summery this one is from Macy's and it's from the brand in, in ink international concepts and it's like from the woman department I got this in a 1X and I really do regret it and I actually wasn't going to get it because it was in a 1X. I wanted a 0X but they were sold out. This was the last one at the whole store and I had them look up at other stores and it was not available. And that's how much I like the shirt that I ended up getting it um, a 1X and I feel like it's already a little big but I pulled it off I think. Um, I just feel like maybe I'm not going to get to wear it uh, like as much as I want to, you know, to get my money's worth. Like it was an expensive shirt, it was like I think 70 but I did get it I think um, like on sale, I don't remember exactly how much, but it's okay, I'll just sell it or give it to somebody, I don't know. Okay, next is also Macy's, this dress, which I actually don't know if I'm going to keep or return. But this is a strapless dress with like a sweetheart, not a sweetheart, it has like a little V cut out from the top, cinches here at the waist, and then it has like the skirt, but it has like an opening here. Um, this one I got in a 16W, the original price is $119, but I think I did get it on sale for like $70, and honestly... I don't want to pay $70 anymore for dresses. Before, back in the day, I remember spending like $200 on a dress like to go to a quinceanera. But I think it's because back in the day, I mean, I've always been like, I think, plus size. But it was harder to find or not as many people or like designers or stores um, catered to like a plus size woman. So I feel like prices were up like higher because it was so hard to find your size now online it's just opened up so many doors for me like to find my site clothes that's cute and inexpensive that fits me you know so seventy dollars for a dress compared to like fashion nova or uh, fashion to figure where they're like thirty bucks i mean come on like that's why seventy dollars seems a lot to me but it's so nice it's like a lace detail it's a little heavy but it is really cute. So I don't know if I'm going to... I might save it or I might return it. I'm not sure. But if you like it, go snatch it at Macy's. I have another dress from Macy's. And this one, I had to get it. Like, I was already going to pay. And then I saw it hanging and I was like, wait, what is that? So I took it out and I tried it on and I love it. It's um, also from Macy's. And this is just like a... Um, to the knee dress but look at this it just reminds me of like so mexicana and it's just so pretty like you can probably wear it like this i like how it scoops here in the front but it also has the same detail in the back you can wear it like this or the way i'm gonna wear it is like this like off the shoulder i love this style right now and this one i don't even know if it has a price on it this one i did get it because it was on clearance is the last one i got an 18w it fits a little loose, but I'm going to get it tailored to my body and also from the bottom because I want it to be more like a pencil skirt. It's a little loose right now, 
So I'm definitely gonna get it tailored, but I think I got this for like $25. Really excited about, I got this at Macy's, was this workout shirt. It says sweat to shine, it's wedding time, and it says bride, woo! This one is, to 1X, and I got it for $10.23 at Macy's. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm engaged. I took this off to do dishes, and I forgot to put it back on. But I'm planning a wedding, so maybe I should do like a wedding series or something. Let me know if you guys are interested. Never planned a wedding in my life, so I'm scared. But, you know, I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, I just thought I'd tell you that. So, that was like my first bride thing that I got. I also got this from Macy's. And this is from Nike. It's just a size 1X. So comfy. Just wanted to match some shoes that I got. So, I'll show you guys. Next. I also splurged on getting myself new workout shoes. Because I'm like, girl, you work out too much. You deserve it. Okay. Like, and then I felt like it would make me more excited about working out. You know what I mean? So I got these Nike shoes. I got them in white. They are the Nike Tanjun. Got them in a 7.5. They are like the most comfortable sneakers I've ever had in my life. I also got them in black because I like them so much. And they were buy one, get one half off. That's the only reason why. I also ended up getting uh, my daughter the matching white ones like mine. I got my two boys the, they didn't have the white ones for them, so I got them the gray with the white. And then my husband has the matching shoes with the boys, so it's funny, it's kind of cute. Didn't mean it to be like that, it just kind of happened. So it worked out. So the girls have the white, the boys have the gray and the white. So another pair of shoes that I got before my trip and I am obsessed with are these Madden shoes. These I got from Kohl's. I got these in black and the nude color. Just very comfy. I can't wear super high heels anymore, um, especially with carrying a baby because I have, you know, a one-year-old and like trying to be in stilettos. I just can't do it anymore. I'm pro It's probably my weight too, I'm not going to lie. Maybe when I lose more weight, I'll like get better at wearing higher heels now. But these are just, I feel like they're not short enough, they're not high enough, but they're cute, you know. Right before my trip, I also ordered the um, Ombre uh, Desi High Key sunglasses. And they didn't come in. I was kind of sad, but when I got back from my trip, they were in my mailbox. Could be more excited. These are just beautiful. They look so shikiri, as Katie would say. You guys, probably everybody has these already. I've seen a lot of people with them actually. But these are bomb.com, the best. I don't know, were these 60 or 65? Honestly, if these were cost more, I would uh, actually like, I wouldn't mind paying more money for these. These are just so good. Better than my $200 glasses that I have, this is like better, and they're cuter. And I don't normally spend that much on glasses, okay? That was once in a lifetime, and now I just love these $60 ones better than the $200 ones. Let's get down to my birthday present, the reason why I'm actually naming this my birthday haul. Um, it's this perfume. So I actually had just smelled this. Um, perfume from a magazine and my suegra happened to my suegra is my mother-in-law happened to be with me and I was like oh doesn't this smell good it smells so good right before my birthday like a few days and she was sneaky she saved the little name thing and she surprised me with this gift on my birthday this is the Carolina Herrera a good girl perfume um, and I love it because look at it it looks like a stiletto how bomb is this look at this isn't this a gorgeous perfume bottle? I just love it. And then you spray like this. It smells so good too. So pretty. I feel so fancy when I wear that. It smells so good. I also got some new makeup. I just got this new Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Haven't opened it yet. If you guys have it, what do you guys think about it? Let me know if it works. And then in Mexico, when I was in Mexico, I actually saw this BB makeup, and I just thought I would try it. I don't even know if it's cream or powder or it's okay, my memory. Sacabo for the second time, so like, I gotta hurry up. So it just has BB cream, and I haven't even opened it, but it's like it says it's like really good coverage and all that stuff. So I was like, well, I would love to try a makeup product from Mexico. It's called Asphyxia. I don't know. We'll see if it even matches my color. On to home decor um, things real quick before my memory goes out again. 
is this cute little elephant family or mom and son or I don't know mom and daughter it was $8.99 at Ross I heard it was good uh, good luck to have elephants in your house with the trunk facing up so I just thought that when I saw it I was like okay I'm gonna buy this to put this in my house for good luck to Ikea yesterday and I got this for my daughter um, this, it's three tins there's a smaller one in here but I thought they were really cute and you know what I'm gonna use them for I'm gonna use them to store like her little scrunchies or hair stuff so I got this at Ikea it was like five bucks also need to organize my stuff in an office and in my room and I got these boxes they're super cute and fancy and it has a handle to pull out this is what they look like the only thing that sucks about Ikea is that you have to build it yourself but it wasn't hard so I just want to show you guys when you get it at Ikea when you built it these were like $7.99 a piece. I got this at, where did I get this? Did I get this at Home Goods? I'm pretty sure I got this at Home Goods. These pillows, they're like white and gold. And it's a set of two pillows for $24.99. That's like so good. Now I'm gonna show you guys the way I set them up on my bed. And the last thing is, I got this gorgeous lamp for $30 at Home Goods, thinking that they were gonna be my new bedside tables for my nightstands. And they just do not look good on there, so I don't know. I'm going to return them maybe, but now they're just so pretty and so sparkly that I actually want to keep them just to use them somewhere else in the house. I just don't know where yet, and I feel like Juan might kill me because I'm going to keep them. And I don't know. I just, I don't know. They're just so pretty, and for $30, I just can't pass them up. But anyways, I'm not sure. I might return them. But they look so cute. Anyway. That's all for my haul, birthday haul. It's like a regular haul slash birthday haul. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys um, like try on hauls better, let me know. I can do them. I just, for the sake of this, and I knew it was a lot that I hauled, um, I just figured I'd talk through and not try on. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what kind of other videos you guys want to see. Um, more home decor hauls or makeup hauls. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I also have to keep up my weight loss videos. I haven't updated those. Um, but I will get to it soon, sooner or later. But anyways, please subscribe. Go check out my vlog channel. Comment, like this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bonus haul. <laughs> so I forgot to mention these shoes in my video. But these are from Torrid. And they are just like, they were so perfect for Mexico. You guys can see I wear the heck out of them. But they are just the comfiest little sandals. And how these look with dresses so this is what the pillows look like on my bed I have to fix that one but you guys get the idea oh my god so I was just cleaning up the stuff to put away tell me why I just found out that the girl forgot to take this off the dress thank god I noticed right now and not one right before I would wear it so now I gotta take this back maybe that's a sign from God to return it